At 5 o'clock, we told you about the punishment for a getaway driver for a group of gun thieves. The culprits are in custody. The guns they stole are still out there. 24 Hour News 8's Barton Dieters is here with more on the impact of a growing number of stolen guns out on the streets. Barton. Well, Sue and Brian, police tell us that the number of gun theft incidents in 2016 did increase, it did increase slightly, but the number of guns that went out on the street is without precedent. In September, a group of teens stole more than 30 guns from Cabela's in Granville and Barrack 616 in Cascade Township. Then in November, 89 guns were taken from the farm and home store in Cedar Springs. Police estimate that 104 of those guns stolen still remain at large, sold on the streets. Who knows what kinds of murders, robberies, or what else is going to be done with these guns. Putting the, this amount of guns on the street is just outrageous. This is a nationwide problem, with statistics from the FBI and ATF telling us that 2016 was another in a string of record years for gun thefts. And there's no reason to think 2017 and 2018 will be any different. What we know about people who commit firearms theft is, is that they're typically willing to go to a pretty extreme measure to get the firearm. Unlike other items, guns do have some value on the street, and so they can be sold for uh, any amount of money. Rune says almost all stolen guns are then used illegally, either by the person who stole them or sold and used by others. It's not uncommon for a firearm used in a crime to be a stolen firearm. He says the recent trend to hit gun stores was new in 2017. The norm in firearm thefts is, you know, the handful of firearms that are stolen from each and every home invasion. Um, that typically tends to, you know, fuel uh, our firearms thefts for the year. Police say keeping guns secure is the most important step. The guy that goes in there looking for a gun, he would go. He would take a, a small safe. He would try to crack open um, an unsecured lockbox. Uh, but a, a true vault or a gun safe in a home is definitely the best way to go. At WoodTV.com, we have links for gun statistics nationwide and how to contact the ATF to report stolen guns. There's reward money still out there. Back to you.